you know, I have mentioned this, but like sometimes it's like helpful to sort of reiterate and connect some of the dots because sometimes people wonder, well, how do you go from this big fleet to actually monetizing the fleet in an autonomous situation? It's actually a combination of like Airbnb and Uber to some degree. So like there'll be some cars that Tesla owns itself in kind of like an Uber fashion. But then for the fleet that is owned by our customers, it will be like an Airbnb thing. You can add or subtract your car to the fleet whenever you want. So you can say like, I'm going away for a week. At just one tap on your Tesla app, your car gets added to the fleet and it just makes money for you while you're gone. So you can say, you, you can add it to the fleet for a few hours, for a few days, for a few weeks. Whenever you want it back, you can say, come back and the car will come right back. And I'm highly confident that it will far exceed, like the revenue made by the owner of the car will far exceed the actual monthly payment. And then Tesla will obviously take a rev share on that, but most of the money will go to the, the owner of the car. And this is actually gonna work. This is what will happen. And I think, I think most people here have tried out version 12. We did say like unsu sort of unsupervised full self-driving full self-driving would be version 12. So we, we are actually keeping the version arbitrarily at 12 and then like pulling a 12.4, 12.3, 12.4, 12.5. But it's actually really like version 13, version 14. But anyway, this is an arbitrary designation. 12.4 is actually like a whole different version than 12.3 and 12.5 is a whole different version than 12.4. You'll see really giant improvements. I think sometimes factor of 10 improvements uh, in between uh, successive versions. And then, as I mentioned, th the way it'll work for the existing fleet is you'll be able to add or subtract your car to the fleet as, as you'd like, and there will also be Tesla-owned cars. So it'll be a combination of like Uber plus Airbnb. It'll be pretty wild that, the, that there'll be a software update, and then the whole, the whole fleet suddenly becomes accessible. It's like suddenly you've got uh, 7 million, 10 million cars that can do autonomous driving, um, and instead of being used 10 hours a week, it can be used 50 or 60 hours a week. So.